Hi guys, long time no see if you're new to this channel. I don't even know how to talk anymore to a camera. Um, my name is Alice and usually I post about like art content, graphic design, and then some little life content here and there. So today's gonna be a little vlog, a quick catch up because I think it's been like a month and a half since I've uploaded a video. And that's because life's been busy, been switching up things lately. I guess a few fun clips I really wanted to throw in at the start with where I've been is, so one, I got sick for a little bit, which kind of sucked. But two, when I wasn't sick, a few fun things that happened over the month and a half was I went to this art exhibit pop-up with the Michelangelo exhibit in my city, Calgary, that came here. That was really fun. Um, just got to look around with some friends there. Another really fun thing was going to the Vivaldi concert that was here. I believe it was like by a string quartet that played it. Uh, I couldn't actually film the Vivaldi parts, so I will include what I could film here. It was really nice, it was in this candlelit church. And then another really fun thing that happened was uh, it was on my birthday. Some of my really close friends with my brother arranged for me to go to this little theater and watch one of my favorite movies, which is Gone with the Wind. I forgot how long that movie is. It's like almost four hours. I think it was three hours and 40 minutes, something crazy like that. Super sweet of them though. So we rented out the theater to ourselves. So those were a few of the fun things I did while I was away from YouTube for a little bit. But today I'm going to go meet a friend for coffee and then kind of catch you guys up on what's going on lately in my life and everything because there's some fun changes coming my way with graphic design, website design, all of that and I would love to take you guys along with me as I figure it all out. So with that, I'm gonna take you guys along for a little coffee date. Say hello. I can't, I can't even see you. I ordered myself an art easel, so I want to set that up. It's from Amazon, and I was reading the reviews, and some people have problems with setting it up. So hopefully it doesn't take me that long, so we're going to start with setting that up. I hope to do more painting this week that I can share with you guys. Kind of talk a little bit more about what's happening with graphic design right now and my freelance stuff. So yeah, I uh, with that, we'll stop talking, and let's start trying to build this. to use this. I haven't painted traditionally in a while and I'm not very good at it, so that's something I really want to get better at this year. If anyone's wondering where I got this from, it was super affordable. I think it was under $50 and I got it from Amazon and I will put the link in my description below just in case anyone wants to order it too. Hello guys, welcome back. So it is the next day since you saw me set up my little art stand and <laughs> I was gonna wait to do this because I wanna do like a whole office kind of studio makeover in here and film it for a YouTube video. I think I'm still gonna do that, but just show each part separately because I don't wanna wait any longer to use all these new things because I wanna work in my office more productively. So I have one of these keyboards that I've wanted forever because I love the sound and I thought it was really cute. So I have a wireless keyboard that I wanna set up with my laptop. And then I also have this, which I really felt I needed, which is a laptop stand because it's basically impossible for me to use my laptop right now without my neck hurting. 
because my desk is kind of short. So instead of getting a whole new desk, I thought I would get one of these guys. Ooh, this should be easier than the art easel. I say that. Oh, we go into here. Well, it's not that much height, but let's see if this makes a difference. So a little bit of height. It's definitely needed, so I'm gonna take it. It is super bright looking outside my window because it snowed yesterday, so all I see is like the white snow. I can't look at the camera while talking to you guys. Oh, my eyes. I'm gonna vlog about this out. Okay. That is mildly better. But now that I've got my little setup, I guess I can talk to you guys about what I've been working on lately and what I wanna share with my channel, which is a lot more graphic design work. And I set up my own freelance website. So if you guys are curious to check it out, it needs a lot of improvement and work, but I built it on Show It and it is called redlidconsulting.com. So I will link that in my description for anyone who wants to check it out as well. But I offer branding packages. So whether that's logo, palette, everything, setting up a new brand, I offer for uh, website design and setting that up. Whether it's like WordPress or Show It or Square or Shopify, I'll do e-commerce as well. And then if people want, you know, a branding package with a website that is also offered and video editing as well for anyone who wants any video edits. So I will link that in my description. I'll link my short little portfolio in the description if anyone wants to check that out. I set up those two websites recently. They need a lot of work. So also, you know, if anyone has any comments, if they check it out on things that I might need to improve or anything, I would love to hear some good criticism, positive criticism so I can work on fixing the little bugs here and there because I want to make sure it runs really smoothly for everyone. So maybe I'll show it on the screen right now. This is how the website looks so far. Today though, I want to work on the SEO and I also want to work on creating a CAPTCHA page for the con uh, for the contact form because I realized with Show It uh, that the forms don't have that built in. Whereas there is a plugin for WordPress. So I'm thinking if I use a WordPress page, even though those for blogs, but I create a form page for that, maybe I can use the CAPTCHA plugin. CAPTCHA, if anyone doesn't know what that is, it's basically just when you fill in a form, you can click to say like, I'm not a robot or something. So it's just going to prevent me from getting as much spam coming through on the contact pages. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. I'm gonna take you guys along with me a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be the most exciting thing. And then I think it'll be a little bit more fun is when I make up some mock-up kind of fun graphic design projects just so I have more to post on my page to promote my freelance business. fun to show you guys how I make my little mock-ups. First, I go to this website called namelix.com where it just makes random generated logo names because I can never come up with enough to <laughs> think of for different projects. Um, I then went to Pinterest and found this little mint leaf plant just so I could draw over the mint leaves since I believe my logo name was Coco Mint or something like that. Um, so I wanted to make a graphic that would go with the logo really well. So I'm just sketching out these leaves and trying to affix their stems and everything like that. Once I was done kind of playing around with the color and size, although I wasn't super happy with this color yet, I added the stems and then I started playing around with this kind of 3D effect on them. I like making things uh, with the inflate effect just so they kind of stand out. And then I started playing around with the Coco Mint um, kind of font and I didn't know what font I wanted to use. So I'm just kind of moving around and placing it and seeing where I want it with the logo. I decided to actually break up the word and put the leaves, the mint leaves in the middle. Um, but this just kind of like takes me a while to play around and see what I think looks best. And I actually converted these down back to a non-inflated um, leaf. So I took away the kind of 3D effects just for now while I play around with the font because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that. So then I manipulated the font as well just to make it its kind of own thing. So I did that on both sides. Um, and then once I was happy with all of that, well actually I wasn't happy with the A at first. I had to keep moving that around. I didn't like how it looked like an elephant trunk to start, but um, I eventually fixed it. And I wasn't like super happy with it, but it was a lot better than before. Um, once I got that, then I went to my color picker tool. So you can just look up like color code uh, index or something online and then you can upload photos. So I took a palette from 
Pinterest and chose this nice cream color and the brown color all from the palette, same with the green. So I'm just making sure everything looks like it matches well from that color palette. And then once I had all the colors picked out, I actually went back in and used that inflate 3D effect again because I thought it made the lettering look kind of like chocolate or something on the page. So you guys will see that in a second. So um, I was kind of happy with how the 3D effect worked out with that. Overall, wasn't super happy with this design. Um, I thought it was interesting enough though because I hadn't done like a little chocolate brand design before and this is kind of how it turned out on my mock-up as well. Nothing makes me happier than new paint brushes and a new paint set. a shirt I didn't care as much about because I realized these paints are kind of messy and I tied my hair back my hands are already kind of covered in paint and I'm going to test out the paints on this little canvas I just sketched a little garden thing yesterday so um yeah let's go my little painting and I hope you guys enjoyed watching that process. I know I didn't film all of it, my camera died halfway through it so <laughs> I filmed as much as I could and uh, it was really fun to do and test out all my new paints and everything. Hopefully I'll get a bigger canvas soon so I can really fill up the art easel that I built this week and yeah I hope I you know managed to catch you guys up on quite a bit and I will be definitely more consistent on YouTube again so look out for some more content. I hope to have my office room makeover type video coming out soon so so keep your eye out for that. So as always, take care guys, and I will see you all in my next video, hopefully very, very soon.